now say to the Committee of Communication for further legislative action. The nomination was in accordance with the provision of Section 8.1 of the Nigeria Communication Act 2003, which says that all commissioners to be appointed after the coming into force of this Act shall be appointed by the President in accordance with Section 7 of this Act from the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria, subject to the confirmation by the Senate. Mr. President, the next session presented the basis and the current status of the commissioners in the NCC. I move on to section two, which is on screening. The committee met and invited the nominee for screening. The committee inspected and confirmed the equipment vitae and other supporting documents of the nominee. The screen exercise took place on Wednesday, 23rd February 2022. The committee interviewed the nominee and received explanation regarding his qualifications, experience, suitability, and competence. In section 2.1 and 2.2 are listed extracts from the nominee's curriculum vitae. Mr. President, I move to section 3, which is on the findings of the committee. The nomination by Mr. President. Mr. colleagues, the chamber is a bit noisy. Let's listen to our colleague in silence, please. Thank you, Mr. President. The findings of the committee. The nomination by Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is in consonance with provision of Section 8, Subsection 1 of the Nigeria Communication Act 2003. The nomination by Mr. President is also in consonance with the provision of Section 11, Subsection 2 of the Nigeria Communication Act 2003 regarding the filling of the vacancies on the board. The nominee met the statutory requirement regarding its professional and educational competence, credibility and suitability for appointment as non-executive commissioner on the governing board of the Nigeria Communication Commission. Preliminary checks did not reveal any record of indictment against the nominee by any administrative or judicial panel or court of law for abuse of office or criminal offense. And if the nomination of this candidate is confirmed by the Senate, the statutory requirement for the membership of the board as enshrined in Section 5, Subsection 2 of the NCC Act 20, 2003, will be fully satisfied. Recommendation, Mr. President. After exhaustive deliberation and scrutiny of the curriculum VJ and other supporting documents of the nominee, and having been satisfied with its qualifications, experience, suitability, competence, and ability, the committee hereby recommends that the Senate do confirm the nominee of Professor Mansour award of Indawa as non-executive commissioner on the governing board of the Nigeria Commission Commission. Prayer, Mr. President, that the Senate do approve the recommendation of the committee. I so move, Mr. President. Any comments? Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Hall, please. Senate in the Committee of the Hall, consider the report of the Committee on Communications on the screening of Mr. President's nominee for appointment. <laughs> on communications on the screening of Mr. President's nominee for appointment as a non-executive commissioner on the governing board of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, and approve the nomination of Professor Mansour Awali Bindawa as a non-executive commissioner on the governing board of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the committee of the hall? Thank you. Confirmation. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Professor Mansur Awalu Bindawa for appointment as the non-executive commissioner of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have The nomination of Professor Mansur Awali Bindawa is hereby confirmed as new non-executive commissioner of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Congratulations to the leader of the Senate.